Hello students, welcome to APJ Academy. Today we are going through the 12 JE mains paper and we are going to do a thorough analysis of 12 JEE mains paper of 2022 which have recently ended in June. You know that you might have written all the exams. Yes, your session exam, what I mean, actually what I mean. And now you have, you might have registered for the second uh, part also and that will be coming very soon. And this analysis will give you a clear picture on how you have to prepare in what all chapters you have to focus, where you have to focus exactly so that in the second session you can make a large difference in your percentile when compared to the first session. Okay, so this video is very important if you are a serious aspirant for JEE, you have to analyze these papers, these 12 papers, not only your paper which you have given, all the 12 papers understand the uh, scenario, understand the whole point where from where the questions are asked, which all are the important topics, which all are the chapters which you have to give the most preferences. This is what we are going to discuss about. Okay. So before going into the analysis, those who are watching this video for the first time, I am going to give you a brief about what APJ Academy is. Okay. Let's get started. So this is what we provide. We are providing a full year course for NEET as well as for JE. And you can see the features what we give for, uh, for the full year course. Okay. You can just read it. I am not going to waste your time. Okay. So let's you can if you want to read it, you can just pause the video and you can read what all features are we are providing. And this is the most beautiful part of uh, APJ Academy is that we are just providing this course for 490 rupees per month. Okay, you can crack JE, you can crack NEET with this enormous discount. Okay, now for those who are watching this channel for the first time, it will be worth if you subscribe to this channel, surely it will add value to your JE preparations, no doubt about it because we are providing quality content in YouTube in this channel for free. Okay. Now, that's all about me. You can read my credentials here. Yes. Now, coming to the main segment of this video, JE Mains Paper Analysis 2022. Okay. So, you know that JE Mains Paper started in the late June that means it started from June 24th and it ended on June 29th six days exam two session exams and so we have a total of 12 question papers so each question papers carry 30 questions from chemistry we here I am only discussing about chemistry so 30 into 12 in total we have 360 questions so we are analyzing the whole 360 questions in this video. So this video is worth it. Listen to it, analyze it properly and make changes in your present preparation according to this video so that you can score better marks in the upcoming sessions. Okay. Yes. Now let's look into the unit wise weightage of the questions. We know that there are three units in chemistry, physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, and organic chemistry. If you look into it, you can see that almost all the three sessions, all the three uh, units have almost similar weightage, right? Out of 360 questions, 120 questions came from physical chemistry and 113 questions came from inorganic and 127 questions came from organic chemistry. So I have uh, classified on the basis of the different sessions. So on 24th session 1, you can see the uh, number of questions asked from each uh, units and in session 2, you can see uh, the number of questions asked from each units. Okay, just create an overall view from this slide. We can move into the next one. 
now yes here we are breaking it down okay now you know that in the question paper there are two sections section a which carries 20 question okay so a total of 240 questions here we are breaking it down and going to analyze based on the units okay and you know that section b consists of 10 numerical based questions where no options are given you have to solve it you have to write the numerical value which you got by solving the question okay so here we are going to discuss about we are breaking it down into two sections as section a and section b section a is what we are going to discuss first so coming to the section a here you can clearly see a drastic difference see the number of questions from the physical chemistry part in section a is very low it only asked like 42 questions have been asked in the section a part but you can clearly see that 91 questions from inorganic chemistry and 107 questions from organic chemistry so from section a there is a great difference if you add these two inorganic and organic you will get 198 questions have been asked from inorganic and organic in section a only 42 questions have been asked from physical chemistry but what the fact is for section b the major portion of the questions have been asked from physical chemistry so that they they the tally they tally in the as we consider the whole question paper they tally each other okay so that's it now let's move on to the section b section b you know that 10 question 10 questions from 21 to 30 which is numerical based question that is present in section b and here you can see the difference from physical chemistry part there are 78 question 78 question out of 120 questions 78 questions have been asked from physical chemistry part and 22 questions from inorganic chemistry part and from organic chemistry you can see 20 questions have been asked from the organic chemistry unit okay now let's see this let's take the class wise weightage there will be many going back students that uh, those uh, who have written their board exams this year have also appeared for je means for them class 12 topics will be of on the stronger side okay and class 11 topics will be on the uh, what you can say in the least important side or what you can say you might not have given much importance on that because you have studied in the uh, last year okay so mostly the students will be you have your stronger side will be class 12 and your weaker side will be class 11 that's obvious but here you can see that there is not much difference we can see that yes 60 question difference of 60 questions are there between class 11 and class 12 so if you are strong enough in class 12 doesn't mean that you can crack je okay so you have to be cautious about class 11 topics also we will i'll i'll show you which all chapters you have to focus more based on this 12 papers so that you can if you are weak in plus one you can give preference to certain chapters which may come with the same weightage or the similar weightages in the upcoming je exam okay so here you can see uh, almost there is a uh, there are papers with the equal weightage also see here in the 24th june in the second session you can see that 11 question uh, 15 question and 15 question from class 11 and class 12 has been asked and you can here you can see that there is a clear difference of 2010 but here it is similar 14 16 here it is a small gap 12 18 okay here again 10 20 here a small gap 14 16 okay likewise it varies so you have to what i want to tell you is that you have to give equal importance to class 11 and class 12 right because 
from chemistry you can you should solve 25 questions that's what you have to, at least 25 questions is what you have to target if you could solve 25 questions and say 10 to 20 questions from uh, physics and max combined 10 to 20 questions from physics and uh, max combined you can score around see if you score around 25 correct answers from chemistry you are getting 100 marks and 10 to 20 questions like stay let, let's take 20 questions from uh, physics and mark, max then you are scoring 80 from there so in total you are getting 180 marks so it's well and good enough to get selected in nits for sure and uh, you could go to uh, the you, you will be selected for advance and advance you can prepare well okay and it's upon it's up to you how you prepare for the advance will uh, decide whether you join nit or iits okay so make this clear chemistry is the crucial paper that will help you to score good marks in je exam because for max not more than 10 questions is uh, you can you can do not more than 10 questions that what the math experts are telling about the je paper and this year's match paper is so tough it's so tough it's not uh, it's it's a well known fact okay so give more importance to chemistry that's what i want to tell you as if you are a je aspirant see now let's crack down break down into the chapter wise analysis see from this analysis you will get the most important chapters where you have to focus where you have to study where you have to stress more this will give you a clear picture for the next session okay let's see p block elements see 20 questions out of 240 have been asked 20 questions and that two from p block of the plus two you are 12 standard p block that is 15 group 15 group 16 group 17 and group 18 from there they have asked 20 questions and see goc from the plus one is the next important chapter they have asked around 13 questions from goc and which means that this is a very crucial chapter for your next session no doubt about it C students from amines 13 questions chemistry in everyday life it's a direct paper you just have to read the ncrt textbook thoroughly direct questions will be asked from chemistry in everyday life and you see the weightage 13 questions have been asked normally students don't give much importance to these chapters but see how much important they are for je exam so for plus one you have to first give the preference to GOC. Yes, you have to give preference to chemistry in everyday life. Okay. Now, let's see the chemical bonding from your 11th standard. 11 questions have been asked. Atomic structure from 11th standard, 10 questions asked. S block, 10 questions. Hydrocarbons, 10 questions. See, these one two three four five six chapters let's see this six chapters has carried the most important sorry chemistry i made a mistake there chemistry in everyday life is not from plus one it is from plus two eleven standard it was environmental chemistry which is from plus one okay so whatever chemistry in everyday life is a plus two chapter but see its importance see its importance okay now chemical bonding atomic structure s block elements hydrocarbons general organic chemistry these are the most important chapters from plus one and also you can see here environmental chemistry eight questions have been asked from environmental chemistry so from this page you can see that one two three four five six chapters which carries the major share and understand it is from section a section a so this is what you have to understand see these six chapters you have to make this into your you have to make this clear 
that before the next session you have to master these six chapters from plus one no doubt about that okay along with that if you are not a master in p block you have to master it p block no excuses for that you have to master i mean you have to master chemistry in everyday life you have to master metallurgy you have to master alcohols phenols and ethers see students this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 chapters these 10 chapters are very sorry 11 chapters are very very crucial for you okay and see out of 30 i would also prefer you to study all these chapters from the first page see coordination compounds very crucial chapter aldehydes ketones eight questions so eight questions asked chapters those chapters from which eight questions are asked very important no doubt about that see if you leave these chapters see from here from here onwards you can see from thermodynamics electrochemistry states of matter chemical equilibrium solutions stoichiometry that is redox solid state chemical kinetics if you cannot give that much importance to these chapters but see thermodynamics is an exception this time they have asked only three questions but there are chances for thermodynamics to come up likewise similarly ionic equilibrium also there are chances for ionic equilibrium to come up but the rest all chapters may be shows similar similar weightage so if you are not a master of these chapters it's not a problem but always think the other slide all the chapters from the other slide are very crucial you have to you have to study it properly that those chapters will help you score great marks and now le let's uh, check it with the chapter wise weightage of the section b that means the 10 questions the numerical value questions which is the most important one see electrochemistry see thermodynamics chemical kinetics solutions and GOC, oh my god, GOC, coordination compounds. See, these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chapters. GOC, no excuse, guys. It has been for the section A also, it is important, and section B also, it is important. How much importance GOC carries from the plus one? You have to thoroughly study it, no excuses for that okay so electrochemistry thermodynamics chemical kinetics see thermodynamics is from plus one okay then goc from plus one these two topics you have to study for section b very thoroughly okay for section b from plus two or your 12th standard chapter electrochemistry chemical kinetics solutions coordination compounds these have to be studied thoroughly and also you know mole concept is the base for all the physical chemistry chapters so no excuse no excuse uh, to leave mole concept With, without mole concept you are not going to do any problem any physical chemistry problem you have you should have a very strong foundation in mole concept okay students you can also read the other important sections from uh, where the questions have been majorly asked let's move on to the next one See the rest one, S block elements, hydrocarbons, so just only, only some, some very small number of questions have been asked, just two questions from S block, just from hydrocarbons, just two questions, from metallurgy, two questions, P block, 15, 16, 17, 18, just two questions, these are from numerical value, okay, but understand, 20 questions have been asked from P block elements of second year. Now just see there are three categories this is what you have to understand the next that is there is a single concept question that is category A let categorize into three and mixed concept of a single chapter that is the category B and a mixed concept from multiple chapters that is category C. So these are the three categories which I want to cat which I want to give you a clear picture on. See from mole concept in total of 13 questions have been asked. From that category A carries 12 questions that means it is direct questions. If you know the mole concept properly then it is a single concept question you can directly apply it and get the answer. 
and from category b that is it consists of the single concept from uh, it consists of uh, dual concept or mixed concepts from the same chapter that means it's an average question this is a simple question this is an average question and this category c is going to be the tough question from atomic structure again you can see that so see the physical chemistry portions from plus one 14 questions asked from atomic structure but from that 12 questions category a easy question two questions from category b that means from the same chapter mixed concepts question okay that means these two questions that 14 questions will be easy for you only that two question is an average question okay from periodic table just direct question c students inorganic chemistry if you thoroughly read ncrt textbook that's more than enough the factual question from ncrt they have asked factual question from ncrt which are direct if you have read ncrt textbook if you have revised properly you could have scored very good marks see from chemical bonding 12 questions are direct just one question from category b and one question from category c similarly you can see all the categories here see g o c oh my god 19 questions direct two questions from mixed concept one question it's a tough one which is mixed from different chapters okay this is the chapter wise weightage of the questions where we have categorized into three segments now let's see the other chapters let's see the 11 questions from hydrocarbons out of which seven are direct four are mixed concepts from hydro uh, hydrocarbons environmental chemistry see students eight questions eight are just direct see these direct questions means simply reading the ncrt is going to give you these marks simply reading revising understanding what it said it, it's going to give you uh, these marks okay now solid state four questions are direct from solutions seven questions direct 15 questions from electrochemistry case 11 questions direct and one from average three from the tough one okay the most tough questions asked from alcohols uh, see uh, from organic chemistry we know that they are interlinked so from other chapters also they can mix the concept here so that's not the big deal okay and for, from out of 14 questions four from alcohols itself and five from the mixed concept that is from alcohols itself and five from the other chapters okay the mixed with the concept of alcohols similarly you can read all the analysis here see so understanding all the important what are important see without textbook this exam is going to be a great blunder thoroughly read ncrt textbook you can see the number of questions which you can simply attempt it you can correct it by just thorough reading of ncrt textbook that's what message that's the message i want to give to you guys okay now let's see the uh, the each shift wise categories from shift a sh shift one category a carries 17 question then category b 9 here category c 4 so almost the category uh, c questions are almost nearly around 3 to 5 uh, that average we can fix it from 3 questions to 4 or 5 questions that's what we could see and the rest 25 questions the rest 25 questions are coming from direct or the mixed concept see direct questions on the mixed concept of the same chapter can be done by properly reading ncrt textbook and if in the case of physical chemistry you need to practice certain problems also okay so these two categories that means what actually the 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 analysis telling is that chemistry paper is the simplest one which you have written chemistry paper is the simplest one so this is the final analysis that is the chemistry is ec level paper and you can see that more weightage is given to inorganic and organic chemistry in section a that we have discussed in the first very first slide of this uh, analysis and for numerical based questions it were mostly from physical chemistry that also we have discussed and which all chapters from electrochemistry from mole concept from ionic equilibrium 
and these carries the most weightages for the numerical based questions that has been asked so focus on this guys focus on this and now questions covered from in chemistry in everyday life that is uh, from 12th standard environmental chemistry which is from 11th standard d block aldehydes and ketones alcohols phenols biomolecules chemical bonding solids atomic structure and these are the major topics or are all direct from ncrt that's what i want to tell questions covered from these chapters are just simply direct from ncrt that means the factual questions were very easy so see i want to tell you this four chapters that is chemistry in everyday life environmental chemistry polymer biomolecules no question is will be asked outside of ncrt everything line by line you read it you can score very good marks from these four chapters no doubt about that okay guys so i hope you have got a very clear picture on which all chapters you have to focus more goc no doubt then uh, our electrochemistry from section b no doubt you have to prepare this well and good you can again move back the video and let's see that each chapter weightage and create a proper timetable for your upcoming exam give preference to those chapters which i have told you and make sure that you have prepared those chapters well before appearing for your je second session or the second time exam so i want to wish you all the very best for your upcoming je mains exam you can easily crack it you will going to rock i know that but keep this in mind these this is how the questions are asked from these chapters you have to give more preferences if you do that the exam is going to be really easy remember the revision is the key and practice more problems that is going to help you for your upcoming exam thank you students thank you for watching and we'll meet you in the next time till then take care and bye bye